Hello, buddy! This is your buddy too coming at you with my series review for Majimoji Rurumo. Now, this was a very fun anime, a uh, very fun series. I enjoyed it quite a bit. The artwork was a little different than the norm, so that was always fun, just a different style of artwork. Um, but this is about Kota. And Kota is the ultimate pervert. He is known at school as the guy to go to if you want your erotic uh, movies, your erotic uh, magazines. Basically, anything that's a little perverted, he has it. And um, one day he bumps into Rurumo. And Rurumo is a witch in training. And things happen, she returns to the magical world and comes back. And she is supposed to train to become a witch again because she broke some rules. And he is given 666 magic tickets. And every time he uses them, one, it takes a little off his life. But for Rumo's training to be complete, he has to use them all. And that's not what this series is about. This series is about... The interactions between Rurumo and Co uh, Kota, and the gaggle of friends that used to come along the way. We have also Chiro, Rurumo's cat, a uh, familiar cat. And interestingly enough, Rurumo does not know in her training that Kota will die if he uses all the tickets. Now, Chiro does. She does know. So, she wants Kota to keep it a secret. So, this is a very fun anime, with each episode just being a, another event, adventure they go on, whether it be to the woods, to a hot spring, to the beach, do something for the um, school festival, whatever it be. And, again, Rumo is a wonderful character. She doesn't show her emotions, but she has them deep down. And... She blushes at times. I also love Kota's mom. And Kota's mom is wonderful because she can be dark and creepy at the moment, at times. Because if she thinks Kota is thinking uh, that she thinks Kota is going to be doing something perverted or something she disapproves of, she will show up behind him in a dark haze with a knife. So... The cast of characters were great. Uh, the interactions were funny as hell. Uh, we never see Rumo end up going back to the witch world afterwards. But still, it was enjoyable nonetheless. And on top of that, I thought that the characters were done well. Uh, I love Chiro because Chiro is a free spirit. She is awesome, and I especially love her when she changes into our human form. And her human form is not afraid to run around in the buff. Um, so, again, you had great characters. You had uh, Kota's friends. You had the, uh, the dissimilar parent, dissimil this, uh, the committee that, dissimil that basically holds up the rules for the school. And those girls are wonderful because you've got one who is uh, a, almost like a, a, a childhood acquaintance of Kota's. Uh, who, her thing she holds up against him was, as a child, he would flip all the girls' skirts except hers. So she feels insulted that he did not do that to her, even though that's still insulting nonetheless. Uh, you have one girl who is highly into cosplay, and her interactions with, um, Rumo were wonderful throughout the series. And you got a third one, whose bangs cover her eyes, and is known for brute force. But still, nonetheless, this was a great series. I enjoyed it a lot. The character cast was wonderful. Kota, the uh, head of the club Kota is part of, He, when he's searching for something, for a mystery, he is great. The lengths he will go to is awesome, and I just loved him nonetheless. But the great chemistry was between Kota and Rurumo the whole series long. You can see them get closer and more. And I almost felt that there was a chance that they could become a couple. But still, the, the uh, chemistry was wonderful throughout the characters, and I enjoyed it completely. 
Thus, this is the old boy 82 saying. If you like this video, please click like. If you want to see more, please subscribe. This is your way to sign out.